Hey guys, it's Russell with Two Trail Hikers here. So I'm out in the RV today, and one of the things that kind of annoyed us with storage ability was the drawers in the kitchen cabinet for our 25.3. Uh, we've got the Thor Vegas 2018 model 25.3. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around here and show you the original drawer. Now this drawer can't be modified. So as you can see right here, I mean, this drawer is crammed full. We've got cooking supplies and some plastic bags and stuff as far as that goes, and that is it. That's all we can get in there. We're not getting anything else in that drawer. So the problem being is they're, they're so short. Well. The reason for that, and I'll pull these out and get you back here, is this is the outdoor compartment that sticks in and then you got the plumbing and stuff. But the thing of it is, if you push that bottom drawer all the way in, like that, you can see where it stops back there. Well, then you got all this extra space back here. So what we ended up doing is setting the drawer up to where now it fills the entire void in here. Now I've got this top drawer out right now so you can see up in here, but we had all this room back here. So in essence, we were, you know, shallow drawer here, and now we've got this full depth drawer for storage. Um, the slides, I didn't change those at all. You can see up here on this drawer that I've got out, I just have the slide attached to it. We're not gonna overload them, I mean, for sure. So these ball bearing slides are gonna work great for what we need, shouldn't have an issue. But it's an easy way to get extra storage. Basically all this is, is some pine board that I bought at Lowe's. Um, these pieces are three eighths by five and a half by three feet. And this one in the back is three eighths by five and a half by two feet. So what I ended up with is having to cut these down to about 15 and three quarters inches and then attach this one in the back. And each one of them I measured was a little bit different. So I don't know that they were dead on precise. Um, if you look at the back back here, you got a little bit of adjustment here. So when you slide the drawer in, you know, you can adjust the slide from side to side. I'm probably going to come back and put some extra screws in here just to secure it better. Um, not really too happy with that process right there. Uh, I'd like to see that a little more secured. But the hardest part of this entire job is right here. Um, and that's coming in and cutting this channel. Now, if you got a table saw, basically, is two passes of the blade and this is some uh, MDF board that I had down in the shop from another project that we used um, Beth always puts drawer liners in so all this is gonna get covered up and we'll have a nice drawer liner in there and you can look right here and see this is the original plywood that they did um, they use plywood I use pine board but it's the same thickness I glued all my joints so it's gonna hold up and do really good all the latches stayed the same, um, everything there. All right, guys. So, like I said, I mean, it's it's 90 degrees out here. Matter of fact, if I spin this around, I mean, you can see right here, if the camera will pick it up, it's 91 in here right now. So, we don't have the RV plugged up into shore power because we got a chance of thunderstorms and stuff this afternoon. And even with the surge guard installed, which I'll post a link to that video up here, um, I just don't want to take any chances. I mean, we're not out here in the RV. We're not needing to run anything. So we're good. Right now, I'm just running off the batteries with the lights and the fans, but it's still roasting in here. Um, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Um, I hope it gives you some ideas on improving storage space inside of your RV. Um, like I've said before, please hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned with us. We're going to have more videos coming out uh, with upgrades and stuff that we're doing to the RV. Um, you know, we've got a major announcement coming up in a week and a half, um, give or take. 
So you definitely need to stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. I think a lot of you are going to be super interested in that. But uh, appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll see you on the next video.